a very bumpy ride, but but that is expected because this is a very trip. You want to go hiking? Go fancy clothes! Oh. So that's amazing! Yeah. Welcome to Yankari Game Reserve and let's go for a run. So day three came, Yankari Game Reserve, an amazing site as always. And of course, I had to come out first in the morning to go for my morning run, you know, get some exercise in. And from there, I went to Wiki Warm Spring. All of this, while all of this was going on, I think the guys were still, you know, in the water sleeping. Of course, I wouldn't blame them. It was a long journey getting there. But nonetheless, for me, I was quick to go out because I just couldn't wait. Okay, it looks like the people here are clearing out a little bit. So I'll just find like a in the small corner to myself to enjoy some swim. Now with an unchanging temperature of about say 31.1 degrees, I think, Wiki Warm Spring is definitely one of the nicest places to be at at the Ankari Game Reserve. I mean, for me especially. I think for most people actually. This is Wiki Warm Springs, baby. It is warm as ever. I'm not trying to drop my camera right there. I'm just trying to give you guys a good view. <laughs> Holy smokes! Wiki Warm Spring is a natural spring. As you guys can see, I'm kind of in the middle of a forest. Just a big forest behind me, actually all around me. You know, I can literally like just walk into the forest from here. I hope nothing stinks, but I've never had an incident like that. I'm surrounded by big trees, you know, beautiful, beautifully colored trees for that matter. I need to give praise to my friends about your friends to us again. They actually put us, you know, nicely to the corporate villa of Yankari Game Reserve. Now, the corporate villa is actually like the nicest quarters that there is there. As of course, except for the villa that is reserved for the, you know, Baltic state government officials or any government officials that is coming down to, you know, Yankari Game Reserve. And you still don't have a girlfriend. In any case, I should let you guys know that Yankari has so many baboons and we call them the area boys here. Yeah. Now, we didn't just give them that name out of nowhere. They have actually lived up to the hype for them to bear that name area boys. These guys are truly rugged. I'll show you more about them later. Back at the quarters, the guys had to go for some breakfast, but for me, I actually stayed back. That's why you actually can't see the video of them while they were having breakfast. I actually had to stay back at the quarters because I figured out yeah, I figured out the place where they had this little internet reception. Now, I should mention that Yankari Game Reserve actually has a very poor internet reception there. There's no 3G network or even 4G for that matter. You only have Edge to work with, and I think Airtel is the one that actually works the best. And after Airtel, I think it comes MTN and actually had an MTN line. So I kind of like figured out this little spot where the network was working. And of course, your boy had to stay back to do some work because of course money must be made now. Time is currently say 1 p.m. now. We are supposed to be having a safari trip soon. Well yeah so we are just trying to gather all the guys so we can head out. But majority of them are tired but that's understandable though. It's been an experience and it can really get tiring and exhausty or exhausting sometimes. So there were loads of people at the reserve and of course many of them wanted to go on the same safari trip so it was a bit of toss to actually get the space you know to go on the trip but luckily we were able to figure that out and before that we actually went you know on a tour of the Yankari Museum. Now this is this is somewhere I would recommend that whenever you're in Yankari Game Reserve you actually go to because the museum is where you like get the whole information about the reserve about how it came to be all of the animals and everything basically that there is to Yankari Game Reserve. So as you mentioned that the weather in power as at this time was terribly hot it was so hot and one of the major challenges we had at Yankari Game Reserve now this is not to discourage anyone from visiting because of course I'm an advocate and an ambassador for you know Bauchi and exploring Bauchi but I should mention that Yankari had this whole issue with having cold water I mean I don't know why light there is not actually like 2 for 7 they actually put on generators say in the evening and I, I don't just know for some reason the restaurant and the you know like the bar or, the, or whatever they have there they didn't actually have cold water so I mean it was a whole lot of stress dealing with the hot weather and not having cold water to actually drink but anyway we survived all right guys so indeed it looks like um we are going on that safari trip can you guys see that that's a water buck 
the animal we cited the most was actually the water buck, which is Yankari's you know, signature animal. Now, the difference between Sumo Wildlife Park and Yankari Game Reserve is that Yankari Game Reserve is actually a reserve, so it's not like the animals are being guided or anything. The animals are moving about in their natural habitat. So, actually, citing the animals at Yankari Game Reserve is actually a game of luck. So, and you know, these animals do migrate depending on the season, depending on food and everything. And one of the major challenges Yankari Game Reserve are having is with poaching. The government has been dealing with these issues of these issues of poachers and everything like that. So, I think most of these animals actually also migrated because they know they have been hunted. You know around the area. According to reports from their camera traps, most of the animals at Yankari Game Reserve are actually nocturnal animals. Now these are animals that spend most of their days in hiding and they actually just come out at night maybe to feed. So it's very rare for you to actually spot them on a regular safari trip. So we just got to our bus stop now and we have to walk the rest of the way because I remember about three years ago when I first came here this bridge was still functioning but now the bridge is totally off but there's a construction going on. But nonetheless, this used to be the normal junction and you just walk the rest. Now you're actually walking towards the Marshall Caves. So yeah, it's pretty nice out here. them unless if they are want to breathe then they will bring some part of their body out then you'll be able to see them but in a normal basis all of all their body is just uh, submerged in water submerged the water national geographic has taught me that there are definitely crocodiles in this water there are definitely crocs here now the Marshall Cave has about 59 dwellings dug into sandstone escarpments and through this you can actually see rock paintings, engravings to signify early human activities here. And of course during the safari trip we had a tour guide who gave us all of this information and it was a really cool guy. So after that it was already a long day, most of us just retired back to the quarters and others just went back to you know the wiki one spring of course to just go chill, enjoy the water some more and you know just have fun and you know do their personal stuff. I'm still talking to the camera. You guys just hold on a minute, let's take a selfie. It's not, it's very tap the screen. Hmm? Tap the screen. Tap me. Okay guys, because Bauchi friends still had one more plan for us. They hooked us up to an amazing barbecue setup. Now, unfortunately, I, I didn't actually film this part because I was actually charging my camera batteries and things like that. And of course, I was ex exhausted and really, I just wanted to chill, you know, like the other guys. So it was our last night in Bauchi and of course, Bauchi friends, you know, made it an experience for us. Guys, I just woke up this morning. And there are these baboons trying to run Saka a bus. He knows how to run the car. They found their way into the bus. Today's the day we leave Yankari and the whole of Bauchi back to Abuja and some other people are continuing back to Lagos. It's been an amazing experience here at the reserve and even outside of the reserve. And yeah, we're going to be back on the road soon and I'll catch you guys in a bit. We said our goodbyes to Yankari Game Reserve and we are on our way out of you know Yankari. Guys, while we got to the main Bauchi town, there was still one place we needed to check out and that was the Emya of Bauchi's Palace. Of course, when you're in Bauchi, you want to connect more with the culture, you want to connect more with tradition. Of course, the Emya of Bauchi's Palace is one of the places you can do that because you actually see all of this cultural element, all those colors, patterns and everything. So I was really happy we were able to do that before we said our goodbyes to Bauchi town. And guys, after that, we did one final stop in Bauchi Town. You guys can probably already guess. We did our final stop for Massa. I mean, you cannot come to Bauchi without experiencing that Massa. And I should mention that this is not the first time I'm eating Massa. I've actually had like like two sets of Massa already before now. But we needed to do our final stop in Bauchi Town to get some Massa. Even if no one was interested, I was interested because trust me, Massa is one of those things that actually go with Bauchi. And Bauchi has the best Massa that you can find here in Nigeria. Probably, if not Africa, if not the world. Trust me. So yeah, it was good and afterwards we hit the road back and we was on our way, you know, back to Abuja. 
And guys, we couldn't have been thankful to God enough for an amazing trip. And of course, to our friends at Bauchi Friends Stores for putting an amazing trip together. And of course, you know, just meeting new people and everything on this trip actually made a lot of sense. And you know, just getting out a little bit more to actually just appreciate life and you know, just enjoy, you know, the holiday. So it was a really amazing experience. I'll definitely do that again. And of course, one more shout out I need to give on this trip is to the driver that actually took us all the way. His name is Sam. Sam is actually my personal person. He's a correct guy. This is a guy I've been working with for a long time now. So trust me, he's experienced. He knows Nigeria. So if you guys are probably looking for a driver on a trip or something, you guys just hit me up. I can connect you with Sam. He's a really great guy. So alright guys, that has been it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. So if you're going to be embarking on a trip to Bauchi, be it a private trip or a group trip, you can hit up my friends at Bauchi Friends Store. I'm going to be, you know, putting their link down below so you guys can totally hit them up. So trust me, they got you. And also I myself with our CastNap community, a community of beginner and professional photographers. Trust me, we also have a trip, say, in a month's time or, or two months from now at the most. So I mean, it's a community of photographers, but of course the trip is going to be open to anyone who is actually interested in joining us as well. So if you want to go on a trip soon you guys can look forward to that as well i'm gonna be you know putting information on my instagram social media you guys can you know look up the links in the description as well if you're new here make sure to subscribe to the channel my name is khalid the wakawa lake it's been an amazing time talking with you guys and relieving all of those amazing experiences as well and yeah i can tell like just chill now and enjoy the usumadam view right peace